Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com. In this video, I want to show you how to create on-scroll animations for your elements in Unbounce so that it looks something like this. Notice as I'm scrolling down the page, scrolling down, and boom, you see images pop, and then you see the text, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do something like that. Um, if you like these types of other cool things that I have here on the page, definitely check out my Unbounce playlist. I have like 25 or 30 videos of awesome, cool, neat little tricks just like that. But in this video, we're gonna do something like this. So we're gonna head over to our Unbounce page and we're just gonna create a new section here. We're gonna add a new section and let's add some images. I'm gonna be guiding you step-by-step step as well as giving you some helpful tips and suggestions in case something might not work for you and so on. So we're gonna start off by just dragging an image element here and let's select the same image here. Uh, we're gonna scale to fit, make it a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other image. We can just go ahead and copy it or we can just use one, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you the basic idea here. So there you go, we can take that, we can adjust it here as well. And there you go, okay, so now we have two images, so that's perfect. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the Unbounce website. I'll put the link to this site in the description, so check it out and you will need to copy paste the code from here, all right? So what we're gonna do is, uh, Again, go to this URL, I'll put it in the description and then click on this option here, okay? So first you might have to click on click here for instructions and then click on scripts needed, okay? So we're gonna open this page and we're gonna need to open both of these, okay? We're gonna have to copy both of them. So I'm gonna start off by copying this bottom code here. I'm gonna copy it, go back to our page. I'm gonna open JavaScript and I'm gonna add new JavaScript. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different kind of JavaScript codes we added. Uh, it's not ideal to have so many, uh, so ideally you don't have as many as I do, but this is just like a demonstration uh, page. So uh, we have this here and let's just name this and let's say on scroll animation. Now, later on, I'll be showing you, you will have to specify if you want different animations. So if you want one animation to be a, a bounce in, another animation to be a slide and left and so on, uh, you will have to create different JavaScripts. Okay, that's the only way it's gonna work. I'll get into that um, in a bit, but, uh, you might have to rename it like uh, on scroll animation for image, on scroll animation for text and so on, okay? But let's just leave it for now, let's stick to the basics. So you don't have to touch anything here, the only thing you do have to do is add this, change this uh, ID here for the element you want to change. Or not change, but um, make it have this animation on scroll, okay? So we're gonna click done, and we're gonna select this image here, and we're gonna scroll down and find this ID here, okay? So right there, we're gonna go ahead and copy it, we're gonna go into JavaScript again, click on on scroll animation, and we're gonna replace this right there, okay? So instead of saying that image 126, we're gonna paste this image to 25, okay? And then just backspace to make it look nice and neat. And this is where you can play around with what animation you want. So you can have fade in up, flip in X, light speed in, bounce in. I noticed some of them don't work, um, and that's okay, kind of play around with it. I'm sure there are workarounds. But the ones that do work, I know that, that I've tested for sure are at least slide speed in and bounce in. I haven't really tested many other ones. I just know that uh, I believe I tried slide and left, slide and right, they didn't work for me. But this is where you would change that up. And then this is the time. So after someone scrolls to this part, how long do you want it to be before the images give you this animation? In this case, it's 1000 milliseconds or one second, okay? But you can change that. You can make it, you know, 500 milliseconds. So. Pretty much as soon as someone scrolls to that part, uh, the image is gonna show that animation. Now, if you want to show the same animation type for different elements, all you have to do then, you don't have to create a whole new JavaScript. You can just go ahead and copy that, type enter and paste, okay? And again, I'm kind of a neat freak, so I'm gonna backspace, make it look all nice and neat, lined up. And then what we're gonna do is change this ID. Now, I'm pretty sure the ID is 226 because the next image, you know, it goes by number. The next element we added was the next image, which is 226, but if you're not sure, select the element, scroll down, and you're gonna copy that, okay? So it is 226, uh, but what I'm gonna do here, instead of copying and pasting it, all I'm gonna do is simply backspace and add a six, and that is it. And again, you can, you know, change this up. You can make this to be 1000 if you want, or let me just, just to show you the difference, maybe 1500, and that's the idea, okay? So let's go ahead and let's save this. Let's republish it and let's just take a look and see where we are at so far. And actually before we do that, we forgot to add the CSS code, we didn't do that. So we still have to add this code, we're not done. So we're gonna go ahead and copy it and we're gonna open style sheet and now here we're gonna name this, let's say on scroll animation and then we're gonna paste the sheet here. Now, for some of you, 
an animation or, or two might not work. And if that's the case, what you're gonna do is under the CSS here where it says one, change that to a two, okay? It's just the version, don't ask me guys, I'm not a developer, not a programmer. I don't know how all this works, how all this integrates. I'm just a guy that follows instructions and does uh, kind of you know all these codes that they, that they tell me to add in place and whatnot. Um, but this is apparently like the updated version. So if something doesn't work for you, just change this to a two and it should work. All right, so we're gonna click done. And now we can go ahead and let's just see where we're at. And then I'll, you know, I'll tell you other things you would have to do if you wanna do certain other options, um, depending on what you wanna do. So let's just take a look. Let's preview the page, open link in a new tab. And we're gonna scroll down, scroll down and boom, there you go. Okay, so this one bounced in after the half a second, right? We said 500 and this one bounced in after um, 1500. So again, we're gonna scroll down and boom, okay? Um, now guys, there are many different variations. A lot of you guys are gonna be wanting to do a bunch of stuff. Hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? Let me know in the comments. I can't promise that I'm gonna answer all of them. Again, I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer. I'm just following instructions that they have here, okay? I'm mainly an affiliate marketer. I promote ClickBank products and software products. So um, yeah, just let me know in the comments if you have any other questions, but this is basically how you do it, okay? So that's the basics now. Uh, like I mentioned, if you want to say add a text element like we had, right? So it's not limited to images. You can add a text element and um, let's just name it animation, whatever you wanna do. We can make it a little bit smaller, drag it, center it, okay? And now you cannot, if you go to uh, on-scroll animation, you cannot just add another element. If I want this, for example, to light speed in, I can't just add another animation and light speed in. It, if, if, I, if I do it this way, where I just add these elements one on top of each other, they have to all be bouncing, okay? So what I have to do in this case is let's rename this, like I said, right? Let's, let's just add, let's say this is for the images. We'll click done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna copy everything they have here. I'm gonna copy, click done, go to JavaScript, add new JavaScript, and I'm gonna paste this here. And then for this one, we're gonna say, on scroll animation and we'll say text, okay? And then we're gonna delete all this, or not all this, but just this one. And this one should be 227, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we can make it, you know, 1000 uh, bounce in. And now we can make this one something else. We can say light speed in. And by the way, you have to write it exactly as it is here. So you can't use all lowercase or, or all caps. You have to write it exactly as you see it here. So light in lowercase, then speed in in title case, okay? So make sure you write it exactly as it is here. It will not work if you, for example, put right fade and up in all caps, it's not gonna work. So we've done that, let's just double check, make sure this is 227, I'm pretty sure it is. Nope, it's 229, okay. Um, so I was mistaken there. So see, that's a good uh, reason to check and make sure, so it is 229. And we're gonna click done and we'll click save and let's take a final look. I'm pretty sure I covered everything I wanted to. I don't think there's any kind of obvious things that I missed, uh, um, but I, hopefully in this video, you understand the basics, you understand kind of the base of what you have to do to make this work. So I believe this was our URL, yep. So it, the changes are saved. Let's scroll up a little bit let's refresh the page and let's just see what it looks like now. We're gonna scroll down and boom, okay. So this one, um, it might have gone so fast I'm not sure if it even if it even showed. Let's try it again. Let's scroll down. Okay, so I did a little bit more research and this is a text block, not an image block, right? Right. So when you go over here, uh, this says image, it should be text and that's why it wasn't working. So now let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna save it now, republish. I just wanna make sure that I, uh, wanna make sure I, I end this video by showing you that what we did is, is actually in fact set up correctly. So we'll click that and now let's refresh the page. And now it should work. So I just scroll down and we wait the two seconds and there you go. Okay, probably a little bit longer than two seconds, but you get the idea. One, two, yeah. Okay, uh, and that is it. That is how you add these on-scroll animations. Guys, again, I'm not a developer, not a coder, but feel free to leave me, uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll try to help or I'll direct you to the right place that does. This uh, website here that kind of gives you the code, uh, they have comments here and uh, some of the solutions that I came across, I came across because of these comments. So check them out. And if you like these unbounced, cool, neat little tips, tricks, you know, all these neat little things that we did, which, you know, this looks ugly, but that is not what it looks like live, right? This page actually looks way different, like things like that, where you can add stuff. Um, definitely check out my playlist. Again, I'll put it in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.